Well, I'm here with Andy Hesentala. Sin, your team uh, lose here at Crabble one 0 Always going to be a tight game, and unfortunately, your lads were on the, the wrong side of uh, a very impressive goal. Yeah, great finish, but you know uh, we wasn't good enough again today. That's two games now. Um, I think it's only the second time we've lost back-to-back -back games as well this season. So, you know, um, we've been doing well in terms of that. We've always sort of bounced back from a loss, and we didn't do that today. So, um, listen. Um, it's not the end of the world. It's a tough day. It wasn't a good game. First half, there's nothing in the game. Was it a penalty? I'd like to see it. If it was, he should send it off. So that could have been a big point in the game. Um, but I can't really comment whether it was or not. The boys are saying, some are saying it was, some are saying it wasn't. So listen, I'll have a look at the video. Um, but if it was, as I say, it's, it's a big point in the game. Um, they're a big, strong, physical team. They get it up. They've got a front three. They're a six foot two three. Um, and they do it well. Um, we tried we tried to play with a bit of width. We never got a foothold in the game. We never turned their two centre-halves that just edited it all day long and can't move, but they, they're good at what they do. Charlie Lou played with me, sat in front, and we never we never turned them. And when we did turn them, they were the, they were the opportunities that we, we did create. And uh, So we didn't do it, we didn't do it, we didn't do well enough today. You know, listen, people write us off now, weren't they, with the two, two performances, then, you know, probably rightly so after that, but we won't because we've got nine games to go. We're still two points outside the playoffs. Uh, with a game in hand over some team, so you know we, we we need to put it put it right. You know, simple as that. We either we either put it right, or we, the, the season fizzles out. You know, we had a fantastic season last last year. For us to stay up was a miracle, and we did it. Um, seven points after 15 games. So you know, to to do what we achieved last year um, was was tremendous. Um, this year we, we set our stall out to try and get in the playoffs. We're still not out of that. Um, so we've got to keep believing, we've got to keep working hard, you know. Nobody's died today, it's, it's a game of football and we haven't been very good today. Uh, and we have to take it on the chin, we'll take it a bit of criticism we've got, but it's only, you know, as I say, not many times we've lost back to back, uh, had back to back uh, losses this season. So let's put it right against Chesterfield next week. Took the two wingers off as well. Was it just not a game for wide men? Yeah. You know, like people were moaning about Ricky coming off, but he, he wasn't in the game, and, and nor was Nassim. And we, you know, we have to do something on the line to try and change them. In the end, we matched them up because they were they were too good for us, you know. And we could never got the ball out to Ricky. We never. It was always coming straight back. So, you know, we had to try and do something slightly different. And perhaps the last 10, 15 minutes. We started getting a little bit more into it. Um, we got in behind him a bit more, but it wasn't a day for wingers. It was one of those days, you know. Was it was it a day for little Munzi in there a day against a big physical side? You know? So we look at it. We um, we pick the team. We criticise ourselves about that, you know. But you know, listen, you're not going to get everything right in football. You know, nobody does. Um, but we. Uh, we just got to get stick together and just keep working hard and uh, bounce back and, and try and put it right next week. After two disappointments, which two performances, which you said yourself, you're not, you, you're disappointed in. What would be your plan over the next over the next week? Well, just get our heads up. You know, like I say, it's not the end of the world. We've we've lost two games uh, at the wrong time because it's that real business end mm. of the season. So we need to um, we need to address it. Otherwise, it will fizzle out. You know, we got 60 points last year. Um, we've got 53 this year with nine to go. I expect us to go beyond that. You know, we we what the target, what the the outcome will be of the playoffs and what you need for the playoffs, I don't know. I think it could be different this year because it's so tight. I honestly don't know. Um, well, a lot of them, a lot of them didn't win today. Is it, no, as so well? it's so tight. I think everybody can beat anybody on the day. It's just come at the wrong time for us. We was, you know, up until up until today. Um, I think the last 12 games we accumulated 21 points. You know, it's 1.75 a game. The last 12 games, so we weren't on a bad run, you know. Um, you know, 21 points is not ter terrible, is it? Really, in terms of that. Um, but you know, you're going to need you're going to need now nine or well, two points a game. Now, I'll give you what, 18 points that could get you in there. You're going to have to get raised it to about two points a game now for the next nine. Who knows? But it's me. That's me guessing on that because you just said there, it's quite tight. So we'll see. We we can't look at anything beyond the next game now because, you know, we know we, we wasn't good today and uh, we hold our hands up and we take it on the chin and, uh, and we go again next week. 
like you say, next game Chesterfield. In terms of player news, uh, I believe Michael Woods is, is not. Yeah, really I mean we've had a couple of blows, haven't we, over the last week or so? You know, we lost the goalkeeper in training. He's having an operation at Charlton for. I think mean, it could be out for three months. We've been told, um, and we've lost uh, Woodsy from Saturday. He woke up Sunday and his knee was very swollen and um, had a scan and he's, he's torn his meniscus in his knee. So that's pretty much Woodsy done, I think, now, you know. So, which is a shame. He was scoring goals. He was, you know, doing really well, Woodsy, um, driving the team on and uh, we're going to miss him now. So a couple of changes, it's sort of, like, sort of disrupted us a little bit, I think, as a team. We've had players coming back today who have been out for a few weeks, kept out for two weeks. You know, to get his legs going again and, you know, um, Oscar Goburn's first game back. Um, Podium as well. He... Yeah, Dominic, you know, and he's been out injured, and Josh Pasley been out injured. So, you know, maybe that. Listen, we're not going to make excuses. You know, we wasn't good enough. But listen, let's keep going. Let's keep believing. You know, people can go against us. Like they will. I'm not bothered. I know what we've got in the, in the dressing room. I know what we've achieved so far this season and, and, and before that. Um, and we'll we'll uh, we'll look forward to the next match and see if we can put it right. And we saw last season your team lost your team won the last five games. So anything can happen in this league. Anything can happen, you know. So it might just be the kick of, you know, that we need today to, to 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 push us on. And only time will tell. We'll talk this week and uh, we'll go again. You know, that's all we can do. Excellent. Well, thank you.